Now we all have those albums that made major impacts on our lives and will always be in our music libraries as our go-to, our forever jams. That's right. That can be said about the miseducation of Lauryn Hill. That story kicks off today's trending stories. It is time for Hot, Hot Topics. Topics. <laughs> That's been 23 years since the what? release of Hill's first solo album uh, with hits like Doo-Wop, That Thing, X Factor, and Everything is Everything, just to name a few. Uh, the album even earned five wow. Grammys. Now, the year Lauryn Hill won those five Grammys, she was nominated for 10, okay. which is a record that particular year, still resonating with music fans everywhere. The album now certified diamond. That's according to the Recording Association of America. Hill is the first female MC right. to go diamond. She joins a very exclusive diamond club with artists including Eminem, Tupac, Outkast, the Beastie Boys, and the Notorious B.I.G. on her social media. She says, pretty wonderful to know that this album continues to bring happiness to people. I know for me personally, this album will always be like at the top of my all-time favorites. Raymond and I at our wedding dance to Nothing Even Matters, there you go. which is a song with her and D'Angelo. So love, love, love this album. Brings back a lot of great memories. Same. And I'm sad that we write memories. It makes me feel old. We read that 23 <laughs> years, years ago, ago it came out. Oh my goodness. I can yeah. remember listening, like blazing through that album all summer long that summer. So yeah. Very cool. Good times. Game, set, match. It was a nail-biting moment during yeah. the Australian Open semifinals and in the end, Naomi Osaka stopped Serena Williams' latest bid for a record-tying 24th Grand Slam singles title in the Australian Open semifinals. Osaka reached her fourth major final by beating Williams, and Naomi is on a 20-match winning streak. Wow. She faces Jennifer Brady in Saturday's final. Tennis, tennis fans were allowed back to the Australian Open tournament after coronavirus lockdown was lifted, so fans were shut out of Melbourne Park last Saturday after a small outbreak of the COVID-19 UK variant. Gotcha. Okay, so fans are back now. This is the second time that Naomi has defeated Serena, yeah. right? She defeated her last year um, as well. I love to watch these two. I mean, of course, Naomi right. kind of like at the height um, of right. her career right now. I think I saw a picture of her on social media and like a butterfly yes. had landed on her as she was playing. That had to be like some kind of I know, sign. Some kind of sign sending her a little blessing. Yes, right? absolutely. But two greats right there. I think Serena For still sure. has some tennis left I in her. Too. And if not, if she decides to um, retire, there's still some things that she can still do, of oh, course, my gosh, uh, to yes. get back to the tennis community. So even if on her own, if she decides or if yes. she doesn't, there's still we'll still be seeing a lot more Serena. Absolutely. As well, we should. I hope. Absolutely. Yeah. All right. Well, legendary basketball Hall of Famer Shaquille O'Neal teaming up with Tony the Tiger. Now, for the first time in Kellogg's Frosted Flakes history, Tony stepping aside and uh, lifting, giving Shaq some space right. on the front of the box for a very cool collaboration. Kellogg's <laughs> Frosted Flakes with crispy cinnamon in basketballs. This cereal will hit shelves nationwide in April for a limited time only. Uh, the new cereal helps the dynamic duo continue their commitment to Mission Tiger to help one million kids gain better access to sports by the end of 2021. So there's Tony. He's kind of in the background, but Shaq, of course, because he's larger than life, taking up of most course. of the box. It's the face for me. Look at that face <laughs> he's making right there. I want to try. You know, we talk about so many new cereals on the show. I'm ready to try this one. Bring it yes, on. Yes, we should definitely do a cereal segment where we try this one, where All we the new try the Cosmic <laughs> Brownie yes. cereal. That's right. We'll make that happen. Yes, for sure. <laughs> now we're getting closer to this year's annual Golden Globe Awards, yes. which you can see right here on uh -huh. KNWA on Sunday, February 28th. A few presenters have been announced, and they include actors Kristen Wiig and Annie Momolo, Joaquin Phoenix, Cynthia. Urevo, Renee Zellweger, and Aquafina are also among the first batch of presenters announced this okay. week. The Globes will be bi-coastal with Tina Fey and Amy Poehler serving as hosts. Now Jane Fonda will receive the Cecil B. DeMille Award and Norman Lear will be honored with the Carol Burnett Award, a counterpart to that DeMille Award that focuses on life achievement in television. Listen, y'all have yes. heard me say this many times. Award season is Award my jam. Season. Cannot wait to see, of course, what happens with the award season, especially this year, of course, because yeah. it's just been um, a lot of things happening, yes. of course, with the last year. So, excited to I see love Jane who Fonda. the big vendors are. I love Jane Fonda. I love that show, Grace and Frankie. Oh, my gosh. I'm a, kind of addicted. You should check it out if you <laughs> I can tell. Yes. <laughs>